College of Education graduates. I'm James Anderson, Dean of the College of Education. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual College of Education Convocation Ceremony. This is a first for the college and probably for you as well. As students train in the profession of education, we know you possess the resiliency, agility, and pragmatic optimism to make the best of the most challenging circumstances. And that's exactly what we've seen. The compassion, leadership, and sacrifice you have displayed in adapting to current conditions is nothing short of heroic. We have seen in real time how educational goals, issues of equity and access are more critical than ever. Delivering creative classroom pedagogies, providing access and opportunities to underserved populations, deploying innovative educational technology to deliver alternative modes of instruction have always been part of the college's mission. These attributes are embodied in the outstanding education you received at Illinois. You embody this mission and from this day on, will carry it forward to meet the growing needs of learners around the world. Our current events do not allow us to celebrate this in person, none of us will forget this time and how we supported each other to finish what we started together. I hope you will make, will take some time to reflect on how truly remarkable this moment is, make the most of it and celebrate your much deserved success. As graduates of the University of Illinois at Urbana, you're part of one of the largest alumni networks in the world. On behalf of the College of Education faculty and staff, congratulations. As always, you make us proud. Emily Duong. Jordan Freer. Abby Friedman. Ashley Garcia. Mary Glorioso, Rebecca Keeley, Michaela Malter, Mia Mustakas, Austin Uyang, Ashanti Pulfus. Evelyn Reynoso, Matthew Sondag, Teresa Taflin, Celia Valdivia, Samantha Abbott, Joel Alva. Madeline Atwood, Dania Avila Cardona, Emily Leibel, Megan Bone, Stephanie Burton, Ulysses Cirillo. Kaylee Clark, Nia Curtis, Abby Delaney, Tara Durr, Brian Finnerty, Mari Rose Hukes. Kaylee Gerhardt, Jessica Dronwick, Krista Halter, Phoebe Handler, Emily Isaacson, Kylie Isaacson. Ashley Joaquin, K. 
Kishonda Johnson. Emma Jones. Ashley Kong. Ashley Kaufman. Tessa Kim. Brooke Kramer. Stephanie Lawrence. Rochelle Lee. Sydney Lehman. Isabel Leitza. Gabby Mayuta. Daisy Mendez. Christopher Minnick. Danielle Nichols. Tiffany Nieves. Madison Nordstrom. Camila Nozka. Susanna Ogorkovska. Anne Payne. Luisana Perez Chavez. Eleanor Fister. Brady Platt. Jin Rong Chu. Sam Razulo. Michaela Reynolds. Claire Remersma. Melissa Rivera. Nicole Roan. Taylor Russo. Kelsey Schweiger. Janice Syok. Audrey Seamer. Michaela Squares. Jenny Sun. Sammy Streeter. Marlinda Taylor. Megan Teeter. Jessica Valenzuela. Shelby Vandermulen. Catherine Wennerdahl. Elizabeth Werries. Peyton White. Ellie Wiley. Allison Wolf. Haley Yetter. Michelle Zhen. Sean Chung. Wendy Ding. Griselda Escobedo. Ashlyn Fleming. Claire Fallis. Theo Grant. Ivan Guan. Marisol Jimenez. Shalena Martin. Tamir Oliver. Sakanya Prasad. Ting Ting Rui. Samantha Wheel. Zaneb Yaya. Katie Barr. 
Carly Bessinger Jacqueline Braymeyer Carmen Cartino Megan Clark Amber Clay Kristen Cook Monica Kuljak Jennifer DeSalvo Corey Elitzer Shannon Fayerty Natalie Hernandez Rachel Hernandez Michael Kelly Nancy Lazaro Carolina Minuski Erica Parks Karen Perez Andre Popa Maria Pozo Yira Shin Sabrina Simpson Alexandra Vasquez Mayra Villanueva Lauren Amabiel Shamia Barnes Emily De Pascal Avalon Dittmer Patrick Duncan Samuel Fishman Danielle Golub Allison Irwin Elizabeth Jolie Eamon Kelly Bridget Lawler Haley Lester Margaret McClowry Nick Mitchell Maribel Munoz Kaylee O'Neill Alyssa Pinones Gabriela Sabatino Antonia Schmidt Ben Sirk Jackson Spencer Heather Staples Sylvia Sukenik Kelly Wallace Jenna Walsh Brianna Zickert Hi everyone, I'm Andre Popa and I'm one of the current graduates of the Middle Grades Education Program of the Class of 2020. And I wanted to dedicate this speech today to all of us in the Class of 2020 um, and honor our unique challenges and achievements. While I know that everyone is thinking about how much more exciting graduation would have been if it were in person, I don't want any of us to focus on that right now. Instead, let's all focus and reflect on what it means to be a teacher. I think that our courses and field experiences at the University of Illinois have sufficiently prepared us to conclude that teaching is not all about tests and quizzes, standardized tests, grades, tracking, or even completing homework. 
and the world realizes just weeks after remote learning or e-learning began. Though learning has become much more difficult to monitor outside of school walls, we learned that learning is very multifaceted. Here are some examples of what my colleagues in the, in the College of Education have done for students during remote learning. I've had one colleague create a wrap to help students remember percents and decimals. I've had another one start off the day with brain teasers. And I've heard of another one uh, create math bingo games over Zoom, as well as a ton of other projects I'm sure um, that others have done throughout remote learning. And it also goes without saying that we deeply miss our students. We are the first graduating class that didn't have a chance to say properly goodbye to our students. And we can only hope that they are safe and healthy at home with their families, even though that's not necessarily the case. And as a class of 2020, we are in this unique position where we don't know what the next few months will look like or even what the next school year would look like. But while the world may look at the class of 2020 with kind of this big question mark, here is what I see. I see educators who are creative and resourceful enough to completely flip their classrooms from in-person to online in a matter of weeks to make sure that kids are getting an education still. I see educators who are also extremely devo devoted. From the minute we were all sent home, we really missed our students and tried to connect with them as much as possible. And we did this from having lunch with students over Zoom or having them give us house tours and showing off their pets to us. Finally, I see educators who are very flexible. No matter what comes in the future, we have our experiences to move us forward. We've had a variety of placements with diverse students and teachers. And not only that, but we've been student teaching both in person and online, thus demonstrating our worth and adaptability as teachers. So, class of 2020, as we take the first steps into our professional teaching journeys, please know that you are enough and you are ready. Whether in person or online, our kids are waiting for us, and we will be there for them. Thank you. Maria Bator. Corey Bilger. Lourdes Bustos. Cory Castaneda, Sungho Chu, Derek Curtis, David Dahowski, Harrison Davis, Catherine Equijunor. Erica Esparza, Emily Frobos, Rosa Hoke, Amy Hoke, Alyssa Irvin, Veronica Kazmarchik. Katie Kamba, Allie Martin, Alyssa Mayer, Jessica Murawski, Alexandra Park, Katherine Peterson. Jacob Ramsey, Yuna Shin, Dorothy Silverman, Elizabeth Smith, Sylvia Young, Allison Yu. 
Daniel Solecki, Alicia Abdella, Enena Akotaobi, Ryan Alexander Ward, Lydia Allen, Nicole Amato, Deborah Amos, Joanne Arche, Crystalline Atkinson, Nicolette Bacadutre, Joanne Becker, William Behrens, Sarah Barabitsky, Rebecca Berkshire, Joseph Bingle, Jason Blum, Rogan Bowles, Anna Bradford, Aaron Brewer, Laura Broussaw, Abigail Brinkotter, Jennifer Brune, Yawning Cow, Jennifer Carroll, Allison Carter, Kathleen Carter, Not Danai Chan Chamroan, Leslie Chenoweth, Anna Chavanich, Ryan Conger, Angela Cox, Laura Dalmeida, Nolan Dahman, Caitlin Day, Sarah Devine, Alexis Diaz Feliciano, Hannah Dixon, Robin DiPietro Wells, Giovanna DiPolo, Ashley Dodson, Paul Dominguez, Damon Drake, Lauren Duff, Lindsay Dumas, Madison Dunbar, Megan Durst, Chase Edebiri, Sharva Edwards, James Elliott, Jacob Ellsworth, Kathleen Engelking, Brian Everson, Shayla Ewing, Elizabeth Foran, Mari Freeman, Elizabeth Fujita, Rebecca Fundator, Lucero Garcia Viegas, Margaret German, Kathleen Giles, Sandra Gladish, 
Mira Gorawara. Catherine Gottlieb. Jordan Gray. Karen Grozek. Samantha Ha. Sharice Harris. Emma Hart. Rachel Hartley. Jordan Hartwig. Lauren Heitman. Jeffrey Herman. Jordan Holm. Hilary Hollowood. Ajene Holmes. Logan Honiger. Sung Young Hong. Julia Horn. Brianne Holt. Rachel Perleman. Andrea Jackson. Chantal Jean Baptiste. Dallas Johnson. Ratanza Jordan. Soyun Chung. Marin Kasai. Jill Kammer Wasnika. Emma Cavanay. Stephen Keeps England. Jessica Kider. Matthew Kiefer. Sarah Knight. Caitlin Crone. Thomas Cuchera. Julianne Lefleur. Tara Leeson. David Leonard. Andrea Lyle. Ginger Logman. Gaynor Laysight Myers. Denise Madden. Christian Madrid. Michelle Malari. Sarah Masinek. Rebecca McDowell. Lindsay McGrain. Lauren Merrill. Diamond Moraga. Robert Morrissey. Chelsea Nelson. Kyra Noonan. Emma Nixon. Latrice Nurse. Christy O'Donnell. Colette Oprendek. Morgan Orlandi. Megumi Otaki. Diana Parker. Thomas Pari. Catherine Periasami. Terry Perman. Maria 
Pitos. Nicholas Ponder. Gabriella Porus. Eugene Poole. Rose Kispe. Dylan Randolph. Lauren Redman. Emily Reinhardt. Caitlin Renaud. Jenna Rio. Grant Risley. Beth Rock. Colleen Rohr. Ava Rollins. Roma Ryan. Samantha Saban. Jason Sikowski. Nicole Sarm. Jamila Scott. Natasha Shah. Jasmine Singletary. Raisa Singleton. Aaron Smith. Vincent Spina. Maxwell Stanford. Patricia Stevens. Julia Sullivan. Kristen Zadelko. Kajal Taylor. Nina Tandel. Stefan Tatro. Erica Taylor. Marcus Taylor. Raven Temple. Dylan Thomas. Brett Thompson. Tony Torres. Ann Trich. Samantha Turner. Philip Vargas. Hannah Walborn. Tracy Ward. Arnold White. Robert Whiteside. Janice Riard. Jasmine Wilkes. Douglas Williams. Stephen Williams. Sydney Williams. Jasmine Wall. Casey Yun. Yunhei Yu. Jessica Ze. Sarah Johnson. Sheng Mei Chu. Jin Yan. Gina Barnhart. Melissa Beckman. Hannah Brenner. Julia Cahill. Mia Chudzik. 
Kaylee Elliott, Faith Fiorito, Zoe Kell, Husna Khan, Cassandra McConkey, Megan McDonald, Jennifer Rivera, Brittany Ryan, Christy Saar, Stephanie Shrimp, Monica Velasco, Madeline Williams, Brittany Yates, Nicole Yun, Sanchari Banerjee, John Dempsey, Mingya Huang, Quijan Liu, Hannah Belvietas Cohen. After earning my second degree in the College of Education, I am still not sure what is harder to believe, that my time at the University of Illinois is officially coming to a close, or the fact that I am able to give this speech from the comfort of my living room. The College of Education has been my home for the past five years, serving as a place for learning, research, collaboration, and discussion. It has taught me not only how to best serve young children with disabilities, but also how to help best equip their families with the knowledge and tools to help their child grow and develop. At the heart of the service is building relationships with children, families, teachers, and therapists. During the unprecedented time that we are in, this value is more important than ever. As master's degree students, we are all at different points in our life and our careers. However, we are all here graduating from the College of Education at the University of Illinois because we care about shaping the lives of the future with the power of education. During one of my first field experiences as part of my bachelor's degree, I was teaching in an early childhood special education classroom. There was one student who I quickly bonded with who I will call Mary. While she participated in hours of therapy appointments and trips to the doctor, her resilience and happiness in the classroom was contagious. Seeing her walk up to me with a smile on her face ultimately put a smile on mine, no matter what else was going on. It was within the small moments of the day, such as feeding our class fish, ready, or delivering the attendance sheet and a shopping cart to the administrative office down the hall that we were able to connect. This relationship carried with me long past the end of that field experience. I built a relationship with her family and became a regular caregiver for her. When I came back to school after the summer break to begin my master's program, I was amazed at how much she had grown since I had last seen her. Mary continued to play an important role in my education as she was always happy to participate in my assignments as I practiced my storytelling and assessment skills. Our relationship has made me a better teacher and a better person. It is because of the relationships I have built that I am sitting here today giving the speech. And while I would love to sit here and thank each and every individual that played a role in my educational experience here at U of I, we would be here until the end of the stay at home order. So I'll keep this short. Thank you to my friends, family, cooperating teachers, supervisors, instructors, and every other person that took the time out of their lives to make an impact on my journey and shape me into the graduate that I am today. I imagine that you, my fellow graduates, also have a list of critical people in your mind. Those who have helped shape the person you are and have supported you on this journey in the College of Education. It is truly because of all of you who have influenced me that I am leaving here as a passionate early childhood special education professional. I can only hope that someday I will be able to positively affect and shape the lives of the many children and families that I will work with in the future, just as my instructors and mentors have done for me throughout my time here. 
2020 is already a year we will never forget, and the class of 2020 will prove to be one to remember. Thank you again for this award, as I am truly honored. Congratulations, class of 2020. Katherine Brown. Jennifer Eggert. Micah Jackson. Shahe Bagdasarian. Sarah Dyer. Ziyuan Huang Oesh. Danielle Huff. Christopher Martelli. Laverne McCants Young. Emily Widener. Bradley Wooten. Stanley Bell. Tanya Cordoba. Sarah Durst. Maria Lang. Natasha Matthias. Vivian Preciado. Sadadeen Shihab. Lisa Scaltetti. James Sosnowski. Na Kyung Yoon. Ragida Abdallah Yassin. Fahad Al Beshri. Kelly Best. Jacob Chaco. Ga Young Chung. Arcasia James Galloway. Chadrick James Galloway. Catherine Joe. Bo Rum Ju. Yu Min Lee. Sherry Lewis. Anne Latomia. Mbeki Sani Madela. Abdullah Mansour. Melissa Newell. Devin Owens. Adrian Pickett. Sergio Po Dalidet. Shayna Riddick. Saturnino Rodriguez. Adam Rush. Jennifer Smith. Iris Smith. Emily Teitelbaum. So Hyung Wong. Ariel Brown. Don Brown. Matthew King. Xiao Li. Jessamine Perlis. Adnan Rabai. Christopher Cormier. Sherry Hopkins. Suzanne Lee. Christina Rios. 
See you when Yang. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, family, friends, and the class of 2020. My name is Christina Rios, and I am earning my doctoral degree from the Department of Special Education. I am humbled for the opportunity to share some words with you today and to graduate with some of Illinois' finest. To the parents, the grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and all the family and friends who stood by this class, cheered us on, and helped us get here today, this is your day as well. This institution has been the home of many first. The individuals who created YouTube are U of I alumni. The individuals who created PayPal are also U of I alumni. Countless scholars, professionals, and leaders from every field receive their training here, and the generations of men and women who walk through these buildings have assumed critical posts of leadership in government, developed cures for a host of diseases, and shaped our culture. Many people have come to the U of I from all walks of life to pursue excellence in their fields. For myself, being the first member of my family to pursue an advanced degree, the U of I nurtured my desire for excellence in the field of special education. The room that we occupy and share virtually today is undoubtedly filled with individuals who will continue to fulfill these roles. In the midst of the current global circumstances, we acknowledge your resilience, intellect, and perseverance. You have shuttled between the role of student, teacher, and mentor to others, taking challenging classes while teaching courses, all the while being a research assistant who struggled to secure IRB approval for their own research. We also know what a challenge it was conforming our dissertation to the latest edition of the APA manual. Thank you, American Psychological Association. Despite the challenges and the moments of self-doubt, we made it here today. My experience in education started nine years ago when I was a teacher's assistant in a class of students with severe disabilities in a rural community in Central California. At the time, I was naive to the demands imposed on special education teachers. One of the first students I worked with was a seventh grade student named Leo. Leo had autism and was nonverbal. The first thing that stood out to me from Leo was the large scar that went down the middle of his head. I had no idea what it was. I eventually built the courage to ask a special education teacher why Leo had that large scar on his head. She replied that Leo had the right hemisphere of his brain removed when he was an infant because he developed hydrocephalus, a condition whereby fluid accumulates in the brain, which can cause severe brain damage if left unattended. This left no option but to have half of his brain resected. Nonetheless, Leo demonstrated the ability to be independent, brave, and self-motivated. Despite the fact that Leo was nonverbal, he effectively got his point across whenever he communicated. Despite his brain surgery, Leo's intelligence shined through every assignment he completed. Fascinated by Leo's abilities, I went on to pursue my teaching degree in special education. Nonetheless, Leo and the dozens of students that followed after him are why I stand here today, and I would like to extend to them their due acknowledgement. My motivation for working with individuals with disabilities is rooted in educating future teachers. Although you and I may not share the same struggles or motivations, I believe we are all bound by a common sentiment. That is, we have all been driven in some way or another to use our hard-earned skills to craft a better future for today's and tomorrow's learners and change our respective fields for the better. We are graduating from extraordinary programs today. Keep in mind that education is one of the most valuable tools an individual can gain in life. I implore you to channel the skills and knowledge you have received to advance the field of education. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank <laughs> you.